Now, Joe, you did something that was so interesting to me. You had Chad, who is a member of our party here, take some samples under a rock in the dark because it gave a kind of dating that I wasn't familiar with until you had him do that sample. Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a complicated operation. It's called luminescence dating. And what it's based around is the fact that the sand grains or the uh, fine sand grains underneath any surface, once they're locked up, once they're sealed from the light, they retain a signal. Look at it this way. It's like a closed house. And then uh, what, you have, what you have is that closed house is locked in and all of a sudden it's as if it's been abandoned once you open it up again that's the only time you can tell what it looks like so in luminescence stating what you do is you have a locked up signal in the sand grains and you keep it locked up until you subject it to the same kind of light that it once had and all of a sudden you can date it up again so it's like the sun set a clock on it Absolutely. Best analogy I've heard. That's exactly what it is. The scientific part of it is that once it gets locked up, uh, all of a sudden it starts shaking around. The photons, cosmic radiation, they all start to warble and to, uh, to change the balance that's in the light signal. Once it's subjected to the former light signal again, it all rearranges and then you can measure how much time has lapsed. Is this a fairly new technology? It's a technology that was originally invented in the late 80s and as a function of scientific progress and development, it, it had a lot of kinks and it had to be basically calibrated numerous times. And we now know that there are a variety of different types of materials that you can date that way. And we can get more and more specific as time goes on because our calibration curves are more and more accurate. Now, I understand that while you were here, you found sand that you said hadn't seen the light of day for how long? Probably some of it hadn't seen the light of day in tens of thousands of years as far as we can see. But that's a guess. We'll have to figure that one out.